Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll explain the mechanism of endotoxemia and inflammatory response syndrome. First of all, endotoxemia means the circulation of endotoxins in the blood vessels. Endotoxins are part of the bacterial cell wall of gram negatives and are called lipopolysaccharides. The most common way in which endotoxins pass into the blood in horses is through the major intestine. When LTS reach the blood, they tend to aggregate and form micelles. LPS are removed from these micellar aggregates by the LPS binding proteins and the receptor complex for LPS includes the cluster of differentiation 14 that interacts with the extracellular portion of the toll-like receptor 4 present on the surface of inflammatory cells. Horses are a species that is really sensitive to the presence of LPS in the blood. The interaction of LPS with the toll-like receptor 4 causes a direct activation that constitutes the pro-inflammatory pathway mediated by an adapter protein called myeloid differentiation primary response protein 88. The objective of this inflammatory response is to kill the pathogen. The binding of LPS with the toll-like receptor 4 causes the activation of the nuclear factor kappa B. Cell signal events culminate with the transcription of genes and protein expression. Cytokines produced in this way are principally pro-inflammatory cytokines such as tumor necrosis factor alpha, interleukin 1 beta, and interleukin 6. Also prostaglandins and other cytokines are produced and there is activation of the two tissue factor with activation of the coagulation cascade and development of coagulopathies. Furthermore, also oxygen-free radicals are released with oxidative damage. All these processes together are responsible of the clinical signs of the systemic inflammatory response syndrome. But it's important to remember that these signs can be also caused by other conditions such as trauma and ischemia. In horses, LPS principally activates the first pathway, but in other species there is also a delayed activation that constitutes the anti-inflammatory pathway and is mediated by other adapter proteins named TIRS and TRAM. For this pathway, the tool-like receptor 4 needs to be internalized. The internalization also stimulates the activation of the nuclear factor kappa B, but also of these uh, other factors. Also in this case, cell signal events culminate with the translocation and transcription of factors to the cell nucleus, with resulting increased gene transcription and protein expression. The cytokines produced at this time are anti-inflammatory cytokines. This constitutes the Compensatory Inflammatory Response Syndrome, or CARF. That's important for a return to a normal homeostasy following an insult. But excessive production of anti-inflammatory mediators may also result in immune suppression and predisposition to infections. Well, this is it, all. I hope that it was clear. Uh, as I mentioned at the coagulation cascade, I leave you the link for the video in which I explain the coagulation cascade. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.